what's up y'all lord i y'all tell me anybody growing jamaican sorrel y'all tell me if i ever had this problem i lost one of these plants before and it's like i'm about to lose two more which do it look like i'm at a shortage of plants but i watered this real good uh this morning but real talk y'all glass bottle down there anyway um this one like is about to die on me. I, I don't know what be going on with this. And look how big and stuff the stem and stuff. The one next to it ain't looking too great itself. But it ain't. Well, it may not die. Maybe all of this is on this one. Now, see how them leaves drooping like that? But see, when they start looking real bad like this, I don't know what's up with that. And it wait till it get this big and start blooming and everything before it, but... I'm not going to lose all of them, though. I'm not sure why those on that end did that. I don't know if it's a root issue or what. But it's like, y'all wait this big to have some type of root issue? And and then, it's weird because none of the other ones are doing it either. And yes, it's back hot. It's back in the 90s. Um, it's not as humid. That's about all I can tell y'all. But no rain. And no rain in sight. Um, but y'all had lost a, another one before that was in that, in that spot. Like right there. Let me see if I can get y'all. Yeah, right there. That hole right there. I lost. Matter of fact, here's the stem that I pulled out. But I lost it before it even started flowering. And at first I said, well, maybe I didn't water it enough. But then when I watered it and didn't recuperate. And it still went on and died. And that was doing the same thing. I thought, well, oh, well, maybe I missed that one when I watered. But no, there's no way. Because I watered this bed so good. The roots for the, from these are not just in them center blocks. Y'all got to understand. Big as these plants is, the roots go down into the soil. So the roots is down in the ground. So it's no way that um it's no way that it's just like, oh, I just, you know, so happen to miss water. And this morning, hey Fee. This morning, somebody, yeah, Fee. Felix, they don't care nothing about that. Look, this is not the catnip chronicles. Nobody cares. I'm the only one that sit up and listen to your banter. The only one. You hear me? Don't you see me getting my ground cherries right now? I need my fix. I've told you before. When I'm getting my ground cherries, you got to put a pin in whatever you hollering about. Look at this. It's more of them to be gotten. I'm missing them, fooling with you. See, they falling off. Yes. Please, lay down. Now, back to what I was saying. Before I was so rudely interrupted. Now, you about to fall off. Just go on and fall on off. You see how when these things be so, you just make them fall off. Oop, here's another one. Oop, here's two or three. Okay, so like I was saying, y'all, I know that. Oop, here's another one. I promise you, y'all, these things will make... See, and then people be driving past and they be like, what's she doing? She out there sitting in the grass eating. They probably think I'm eating grass. But anyway, um, yeah, so I have my snack. Felix. 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 You knocking down ground cherries. Turn around your tail, knocking stuff out. May not have been ready yet. You don't know if it's ready. Mm, but y'all, but yeah, y'all tell me if you're growing Jamaican soil, if y'all lost any plants like that, or uh, just you know, I ain't eating that. It's too green. When they too green like that, y'all, ooh, they sour. They sour. But when they Yellowish green and yellow. Really, if you take these off and let them, um, you know how you let a tomato ripen after you get it out? If you'll let these sit and ripen up a little further, they get even sweeter. But, chai. I'm so greedy. I can't wait for that. Sometimes I get lucky. And there's one been laying on the ground for like two days. 
and it was nice and sweet. So it's like it ripened up for me outside. But yeah. I'm gonna can you eat too many of these things. And like I wanted some kind of adverse reaction. If you eat too many of them. Mm -mm. I guess I find out one of them. Probably kill me. Now I don't see no more video. You know I ate too many ground here. And this thing can't be bad for you, can it? Hmm. I guess too much of anything can be bad for you. I guess that's the answer to that question. I knew the answer all along, but I was too busy eating. Well, that little snack is good. Watch me go over here to the other side and see if there's any that fell on this other side. Come. Oop. See one come out? Ooh, I see one on the ground. Mm, mm, mm. Sand in the sun. Look at here. Look at here. But it kind of got a little dirt on it. What happened to it? Mm, 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 mm. See the what I be talking about. You have another vantage point. See this one been down there. That's the way too little. You go out there. See this one been down, but you have to be careful because they be down there too long. They get mushy. See how it's nice and yellow. That one they taste like cotton candy. But. Oop, here go another. Mm. That one's good and yellow too. Okay, that's enough of the ground chairs. I know I'll be wearing some of y'all out with them ground chairs. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't had nothing to eat. <sighs> and I've just been out here. Just out here. I'm going to get these melons. I feel I feel they're going to cook. <coughs> At least the one that's. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm letting finish. Get it ripen. Let me see, can I show y'all? Can y'all see that stem where it's starting to get brown, where it attached to that melon? Make sure ain't no bugs getting to you. Let me see your stem. It's starting to get brown. This is still getting big. I took this one off, it aborted itself. And then that one right there is on there. But, oh Lord, I see another one that took. It's so hot out here, y'all. Now, I will say this. These vines are giving up the ghosts. And that's just because they've been in the ground so long. Plants do have a lifespan and longevity to them. And they don't just by giving up. I said if I saw any other, I wasn't going to pollinate them. This one here just sat probably the other day. But I didn't do it. The bees did it. I, it may or may not make it. I don't know. But the main thing, what I wanted to say is, my goal at the end of the season is to have... If you all want them, um, it's a big old lizard over there. First of all, can y'all see all them peppers? I mean, just pepper behind pepper behind pepper. And then y'all see all the white flowers. Uh, y'all see my eggplants starting to turn. Those Turkish eggplants are so pretty, y'all. They do taste good, too. They're not the biggest eggplant. Now, let me say this. You see how my plant looking? It's not a ton of eggplant. Don't my eggplants didn't do very well this year. Those plants are usually loaded, but that drought and all that other foolishness, it kind of I don't want to say it stunted my plants, but then I kind of do want to say it stunted them. Those are some good if you get your hands on seeds for them, or I may have some seeds for them, cause I'm gonna film a video today about seed hoarding, but that's a whole nother. Anyway, um. <laughs> The uh, what's this motherland okra? That's what this is. Um, once the pods get like this here, where they're nice and fat like that, they hard as a tree limb. Don't even try it. Um, I'm letting those go to seed. So these two are gonna go to seed. This is gonna go to seed. This is the only okra that I have. I got a big one over there that's going to seed. See the top one that's about the size you want to get them. They're not very long, 
just like that's a good size here but it well no it ain't because that sucker's hard but the the adage goes it's still the same if the tip is pliable it's probably edible if that tip is hard it's probably a tree limb already just go and leave it you just leave it let it go to seed let them they still get some real mature seeds that way you won't have no germination issues if you're saving seeds and you have germination issues, you may be pulling your stuff too early and it doesn't have enough time to get all the genetic information and all the stuff that it needs in that seed. Understand that seed has to have everything in it in order for it to basically, you know, grow a whole nother plant. So that's why I tend not to pull my stuff too early. Um, and people have told me before that, you know, my seeds are you know decent germination wise if somebody gets something from me and it don't germinate well just tell me i've seen some more seeds because i do make mistakes um i know i made some mistakes with some peppers one time and the germination wasn't great and i sent the person out another batch that i had saved subsequently in the germination they told me it was 100 percent. so um but anyway i wanted to show you how that look how them peas up there Ooh, look at all those peas. Can you see all the green ones over there? So the Lady Cream Peas, they're a little head of... I think these are whipper wheels. Um, they're either whipper wheels or iron and clays. I can tell when I hull them. When I hull them, I know which one it is. But I know for a fact these are little, uh, Lady Creams. Because I've harvested and eaten off of them. And I didn't plant no peas there. That's all volunteer stuff. Um, but like I said, I'm just talking and talking. We're 11 minutes. We ain't even got to what I wanted to talk about. And let me tell you this. You see how you, when you get these big old calyxes like this, you can go ahead and cut those big ones off. See how it's one right next to this one? You can cut those big ones off. Um, and and there, this stuff will keep making. So y'all, you know, cut your, don't, don't pull your plants. Cut your stuff and let them keep making. Get all you can get out of your stuff. Milk it till it's dry. But what I want to talk to y'all about is these mini San Marzano. So these things ended up being what i predicted in my head i don't know if i said it in a video or not i can't remember and i got some damage like it's a hornworm in here i'm just not noticing that i'm gonna see can y'all can y'all pick out the damage you see that you see that where this ate off at the tips and it's gonna be hard as hell for me to find that in here you know them hornworms hard to find because they're green I mean, maybe that's bird damage. Sometimes the birds light up here and light on the plants. But I don't know. I don't see no lot of damage. Usually there'd be more than that. But if you catch them at... But let me say this. What did I just say? The birds be lighting down. How do I know that worm one right there eating a bird so and a bird ate the worm? Because, see, that's how, that's the beauty of Robbie's garden, in my opinion, is them birds. And she feeds and waters those birds and those birds she don't have to pick nothing robbie don't pick nothing off of nothing the birds get all that stuff and that's why i said i want to put some bird feeders or something but i have to be strategic because of the cats i don't want to set the birds up i realize that nature has this place and cats are going to hunt they're going to do that however i don't want to set i'm not trying to set up a massacre is what i'm saying I'm not trying to set it up to where I have. So whatever waterers or whatever I'm going to have, I'm going to have to cat proof it or do something because I don't want to set the birds up to be in the bird baths or whatever that's going to lure them more to this area and be set up for the cats to, because uh, they're going to do their thing. Um, so that's what I'm trying to weigh. That's why I hadn't, you know, done that yet. But that's the beauty of Robert's Garden, how them birds, whew. If it's anything, that, ooh, baby, because she don't pick off nothing. They get the aphids. They get everything. But back to the tomatoes. Y'all, these mini San Marzanos, I'm going to try to have some seeds for y'all. In case you can't find these in your store or you don't want to buy them out of your store, what have you. I'm going to try my best to have some seeds for y'all. There's some tomatoes in here that are ripe. I'm trying to find a way to get... So... Y'all, y'all remember what I planted? Don't this look exactly like it? Now that's one. I'm trying to get it some more in here. I'm trying to wrench around and wrench it off. Let me see. Wrench around and wrench it off. Here we go. Wrench around and wrench it off. I got to wrench around one more time. Don't grow like me. Y'all ain't gonna be able to see where my hand going. Cause hell, I can't see where my hand going. I just hold on to my now. Oh, it's two of them down there now. Two for one. Okay, so 
Y'all see that? Um, let me taste and make sure they are right. Cause I don't want to be talking about I'm gonna give y'all some seeds and some tomatoes taste like trash. Let me taste them. Oh, oh, it's the juicy. Good lord. The juice shot out of everywhere. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. You got that beautiful tomato flavor. Oh my goodness. These will be good in a salad. Um they would be good in a salad, but I could see how they would make sauce too. Let's see, can I show y'all? Mm. I don't know if y'all can tell. Can y'all tell how meaty that is? It doesn't have a lot of the tomato gel. It's more meaty. Now it's not a big tomato. But it's got good flavor. It's not super acidic. So if you don't like super acidic tomatoes, I like my tomatoes a little bit sweeter, but if it's more of an acidic tomato, hey, I eat that too because I make sauce out of it or do whatever. But this one is a nice balance. It has a nice sweetness to it, nice tartness to it. The skin is not really thick. The skin um actually fairly thin. Maybe you can tell. Can you tell how kind of thick it is? See how it's not much tomato gel or, you know, the seed part? part where the seeds be that one you can see a little bit more seed but still the wall is fairly just like at the top see how it's almost all tomato I mean they have a really nice sweetness to them um and I do let my stuff vine ripen so how they would taste not vine ripen I don't know I forget how many plants this is I want to say seven or eight but y'all go back and look and double check me. I could be completely wrong. But I just wanted to show y'all. Now they're starting to do what they're supposed to do. See all of those blooms? See, one truss looks like it puts out about between five to nine tomatoes. And I'm going to show y'all where some have started.